The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs.
I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this... At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Barry Mercer is the best with no coat. Monster Dog is second best. The famous dog is... Dog. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. 
An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman.